Hi guys, I'm Amrut Deshmukh, your booklet guy, and I was about to go to sleep, and I have a habit of reading few pages before I go to bed. Uh, so I was reading this book, The Power of Subconscious Mind, by Dr. Joseph Murphy, and I just could not resist to share one big idea that I was most excited. So I thought, let's make a video before I go to sleep. So what I liked about this idea, by the way, I had read this book uh, four years ago. and uh, i've been practicing this uh, since long but now i am reading it once again so that i can make a summary for you guys on booklet app uh, the one big idea that excited me the most from this book is that our subconscious mind is very very innocent he is like a child so it's very easy to fool him he doesn't understand the difference between uh, big failure and small failure or big achievement and small achievement okay he doesn't understand the difference between uh, positive emotion and negative emotion he doesn't he just understands emotion so um, do you remember uh, in three idiots amir khan uh, told a story where uh, <coughs> a guard used to uh, shout in the night jaagte raho jaagte raho and uh, no, all the people used to go to sleep feeling secured and after few days they realized that the guard is blind and then he said that you know dil ko bewakoof bana ke rakho so uh, that's a similar uh, idea that uh, this author tries to tell so he says that uh, we can fool our subconscious mind and give him uh, frequent feedbacks preferably positive feedbacks so that he will uh, get convinced that you no know, we are a, a people of uh, commitment okay when we keep failing to keep our commitments and uh, a negative feedback goes or no feedback goes to our subconscious then we fall into a trap of depression uh, we 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 think that you know we are losers we are failures in the long run so uh, the simple trick that worked for me is suppose uh, there is a big task or a project which which might take 5 to 6 days to complete then uh, say for example uh, you have to make a powerpoint presentation for a meeting which which consists of almost uh, 20 slides now making a ppt of 20 slides will take hours right so uh, what now the problem with this task if you write down in your to do list make ppt for the meeting because of the sheer uh, volume of the task the feedback uh, the feedback of completing the task will go to your subconscious mind only after 5 days because of the volume of the task whereas our subconscious needs frequent feedback to convince him that we do what we say okay we keep our promise we keep our commitment okay only then he will get convinced that uh, you know we are achievers uh, the good part is that he doesn't understand whether the achievement is big or small so what the trick is you have to break down this big project into such smaller sub task or a chunk that the task doesn't last for more than 15 minutes so instead of writing uh, in your to do list as make ppt for the meeting write down make two slides of ppt okay so that the task will not last for more than 15 minutes and then put a check on your to do list that you have completed the task and when you keep on doing this you know 15 minutes task or uh, say a 10 such task and you get you give 10 feedbacks to your subconscious mind then the subconscious mind will get convinced that you are a man of commitment okay you keep your promise and that's what we call positive action feedback loop got it and hence that that's the difference between you know successful people and unsuccessful people so expect a detailed summary of this book on booklet app the power of subconscious mind good night bye bye